And in this next video, we will simply take enclosure exercise number one that you've hopefully mastered by now in the key of C major. And we're simply going to put it in the key of A minor using all of the same rules, uh, but this time using the slightly different scale, which uh, A minor has a G sharp in it. So it's one note is different than the C major notes, which affects your enclosures. So instead of reading this thing and just having to reread this exercise in uh, 24 different keys, um, again, let's just take a look at the similarities to C and we can get at to C major, that is. And we can get at um, how to do enclosures all by yourself. So we're starting with chord tones, the same one, three, five as the last video in C major. This time it's one, three, five in A minor and A, C, and E. Each one has two friends on either side. And instead of just reading it and uh, or having me just tell you, let's recall the rules of enclosures from the first lesson. Uh, there's two. Um, remember, we're having a chord tone and we're always looking for a note above the chord tone and one note below the chord tone. Uh, so there's one. And right above it, the rule for the one above it always has to be a scale tone, no matter what. So that's gotta be B, that's easy. The one below it always has to be a half step, no matter what, even if it's not a scale tone. In the key of A minor, G sharp actually is a scale tone. So that's simply the two scale tones around A will uh, enclose it, as you can see. There's A in the middle and there's two walls around it. So that's how I think of enclosures. Um, and we'll just do it to the other two chord tones. C is the three of A minor. And since it is sharing the scale with C, it's actually the same two notes as we had in C major. So you already know this one. There's there, there. And the E is the five of A minor. You also had E in the key of C major. So this one also, you know already. So there's an F above it and a D sharp below it, just like from C major. So let's try each of those uh, enclosures and we'll use the same enclosure exercise uh, unit from uh, the first one, C major, where we start with the note above, B, we go to A, and then we go to G sharp, the one below. So it's four eighth notes, gonna take up two beats all the time, and we have one and two and. Think of it as above the note, the real note, below the note, the real note. And let's try it on C, same thing. Below the note, the real note. Sorry, above the note, the real note, below the note, the real note. And if we have E, this one, uh, I want to warn you, get your second finger on E. And where's our next A? So let's try the same deal. The note above A is B, and G sharp is the scale tone below, half step. Here's C, and we've done this before. That cool trick from C major right there. And if you want to be fancy, you can go all the way up to that one too. I didn't write that on the exercise. So I think we're ready to do the exercise slowly. And then the cool thing about this exercise is it is actually works perfectly over a minor swing, the entire form, all three chords. And that will be the exercise. I'm gonna hit play on a, a backing track so we can hear this in context. And I really do love the sound of this exercise over minor swing. Uh, it's taken from a Django Reinhardt lick that he would do in major and minor, just exactly like this exercise. So here we go. A is your first note and you should get your second finger ready so that we don't have to shift to get the enclosure note below it. C has, and then E, same thing. And on A, you're thinking A is the next note, but you have to actually start on B. C is the next chord tone. And if you noticed, all the chord tones are pink if you've printed this in color. And finally, to the top. Coming down, we're gonna start with E, but the first note is F. C is next, but we start with D. A is next, but B. And D. And C. And finally, and if you 
can go back and get each one of those, knowing especially what two friends enclose each uh, chord tone, then uh, you can go on and play this uh, demonstration with me. Uh, this will be minor swing chord changes. And one thing that's really cool once you hear this, um, just consider the chord changes are changing. It's going to D minor and E7 and A. However, in my mind, all I'm seeing are those pink notes. They are my guideposts for this enclosure trick. So, and it's cool, because when it switches to D minor, these three notes still work. When it switches to E, it works. It's like a fail safe. So I'll play the exercise twice through with you, and then I'll actually improvise using these um, enclosures, just so you can hear. exercise again from the bottom. Check it out, same exercise on uh, D minor, but it sounds alright. <laughs> 